beginning of the build, I installed two 6 volt uh, batteries. <laughs> okay, she's coming. <laughs> um, but I've uh, waited to uh, switch over to lithium batteries. And I think the time is right now to do that. And in anticipation of the arrival of my cells from China, I'll be removing uh, those two. I have to remove those two leads and one that's interconnecting. So let's get some tools. In preparation of receiving my uh, battery cells, uh, I'm starting to uh, build a battery box. Uh, it's an open box, it's a front, a back, a top and a bottom but no sides, as you'll see in the end. Uh, so I'll start uh, cutting some leftover pieces of wood. So I finished uh, the pieces of wood for two battery boxes, one over here, the other here. Uh, quite simple, it's a front and a back. We've got a bottom to lift them off the floor a bit. Um, the batteries at the bottom, but then around the top of the batteries I'll put a spacer in between. Uh, and I build the uh, BMS on top. It's all over size, so I can cut them back to the uh, size uh, when I get the batteries in. You're good to go, bud. Okay, thanks, eh? Have a good day. Take care. I just received my batteries from China, uh, four packets, identical size, but um, they seem to be in a reasonably fair condition, so let's open it up. It took about, no, not about, it took exactly two months from starting the order to receiving it. For next to Van Dyke. For those who don't know me as Nick Van Dyke, but as Van Williams. It's really, it's really fed quite well, I think. How is this one? That 
that's the second cell. So this is my second package out of four. I ordered uh, eight cells. And these are 272 amp hour cells. And the brand is Lishan. They are really well packaged. They seem to be in a good condition. Okay, the very first thing that I want to do is to test them. So I had to buy a multimeter. So this one is 3.275 and 3 3.275, 3.275, 3.276, 3.2756 as well, 3.276, 3.276, this is the only one that differs a little bit, it's a 3.272, and I'll have to check that, but as far as I know, I'm not really competent to really give an opinion, but as far as I know, that's... Uh, as long as it stays at the 3.27 something, it should be fine. And these are the bus bars, some extra bus bars that I bought. And this is my dear friend. Yes, yeah, Joey. <laughs> okay, though. So as you can see, I just received my lithium batteries, at least the cells, eight cells. Those are uh, 3.2 volt cells, so you need four of them to make one 12 volt battery. Uh, and instead of putting all eight of them together in one set, also for practical reasons, I'll be making just regular 12 volt units. So two batteries of four cells each uh, but uh, I got lots of stuff that I need to do to uh, get it installed in the van but before I start I have to clean those uh, contact points out and put these uh, set screws in instead of the regular screws uh, and put them all together in one row and put some bus bars on them and do a top balance and then I'm gonna Take, that's going to take at least uh, a few days or so, I, I suppose. By cleaning these points, what I encounter is that they're not really that perfectly ground or something because it looks quite nice, but if I just go with it with a little bit of sandpaper, you may be able to see that there's a ridge on on the top of it and these batteries have to have have to have a very well connected bus bar so the best thing that I found is very carefully because as I said the thread inside is, is very small and crucial But first get these edges off. And then after I finish, I first vacuum it and then apply some alcohol over it as well. So it'll be as clean as I can get it. Okay, and then finally got some isopropyl alcohol. What I'll do next is um, put these set screws in. Okay.
I did order two extra set screws and they go into my repair kit. So the next step is that uh, before starting to charge these cells, they tend to bulge when you're charging them. And I don't know exactly how fast that is, but um, just don't want to take a risk. So uh, I'll be making a box later to put them in. I can restrain those batteries and the panels are going to be used for that. Uh, but uh, this is just a temporary thing. So the next step is to uh, charge them. And what I'll do is I have them all in positive and in negative. And I connect all the positives and all the negatives. So I'll do it like this first. Then I have two, one here and one there to connect to. Then I got these serrated uh, flange nuts, which I will use in the end, but for the time being, because I still have to remove them, I'll put a washer in between. I also got two spares for these, so that's for my repair kit too. Now I have to be very careful not to drop anything <laughs> with those two bars, because then I get a big blast, I suppose. I got a very lightweight power supply, uh, so there's only very little going in. From what I now have to do to top balance it is first put the amperage uh, at the highest level and then we have to charge them up to 3.65. I even made it to 3.65. Uh, and then connect it. And now it's charging at about 19.3 watts. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.